take a look at, at our interview that we have for you this morning as well, because um, we wanted to bring in Capital Metro Operations to give us the latest on what you will be seeing on the ground later on yeah. today. Yeah, Dottie Watkins is Cap Metro's Chief Operating Officer. Dottie, thank you for joining us. I want to start with uh, what does the city plan in terms of public transportation? Will there be anything running today with six inches of snow on the ground? So our plans today are ever changing, but as of uh, this morning, we do plan to operate service on our core bus system. And so all of our local bus routes are scheduled to operate. We will not be operating any of our commuter bus services and we, won't, we will not be operating the red line commuter rail um, service either. So um, we encourage folks first and foremost to stay home if they absolutely can and uh, to make sure they check our website at capmetro.org before they um, head out to the bus stop to make sure they're they're certain that their service is running. Um, our goal is to try and start putting service out um, once we get to daylight, but we'll be taking it very slow and making sure we stay safe. Um, the safety of our customers and our staff is always our very first priority. You know, Dottie, I'm thinking about the people who are without power with these rolling outages for longer than 40 minutes or not able to keep warm. I know in some emergencies we have had um, the availability of Capital Metro buses to kind of park, whether it's outside of an apartment complex, if there is a fire, if people are displaced. Are you coordinating anything with first responders about using your Capital Metro buses just as a stationary object to keep warm? Yes, we've actually been working with um, the Emergency Operations Center for the region um, really for a number of days to make sure that um, any uh, support is necessary, um, that we're able to provide transportation. We've been helping transport um, folks experiencing homelessness to local shelters. Um, we've also provided some warming buses for some operations. You may remember a couple of days ago, there was a, a multi-collision incident at 620 and 45. We sent a couple buses out there so that people that were kind of waiting for the tow trucks and waiting to be able to get moved to safety had a warm place to sit. So that's been our number one priority is making sure that we can keep everyone safe and warm. Um, as well as providing a you know, bare minimum of our basic transit service to help people get around if they absolutely have to get out of the house. Dottie, we're looking at some live pictures around the city and we are seeing uh, very few cars, if any, out on the roadways. When you say that some of these buses will be running on very limited service, it makes me wonder, do you have confidence that they're, they're prepared to navigate this snow? We are um, as prepared as we ever can be um, as, as a bunch of Texans. Um, we are definitely concerned about the snow. Um, for that reason, our service is not scheduled to even begin start moving until 7 a.m. We wanna make sure it's daylight before we even hit the streets. On a normal Monday, we'd already have all of our buses out there picking up the early birds and getting them to work, but um, that's just not the case today. So we have limited our service span. Um, we pulled our service in early last night. We'll do the same again tonight. So our our plan as it stands right now is to run from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on our local bus and Metro Rapid routes. But again, we encourage people to please stay home if you absolutely can. Um, it's pretty treacherous out there and we don't want anybody getting snuck, stuck in the cold. Absolutely. Thank you to your drivers and to all of your staff who are working this morning, including you, Dottie. We appreciate your time and your help. Thank you so much.